Hey rats, so today we're gonna be doing a taco mukbang. <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized. And we're gonna be making tacos and we're gonna be talking about like topics around the world, like what is going on in the world. So let's just start. So, so drinks. <laughs> okay, so Mira's just gonna be telling you guys what kind of food we have on this side and I'll do the other half. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go first. So over here we have the toppings, the vegetable toppings. We have the tomato, onions, and then cucumber, and they're all sliced. And then over here we have mashed potatoes. And then we have the tacos itself, or like the tortillas. And then we have lime over here. And then we have infused water. Yeah, it's grapefruit and cucumber infused yeah, water. Yeah, that's her water. And I just have ice water, which is the regular drink that I usually have every mukbang and then she'll introduce okay this. so this one i made this one it's barbecue beef and it's so good guys oh my god and this one is beef steak this one's just beef with lime lemon juice or lime i don't know and onions and stuff it's really good and also we have bigger tortillas just in case we want to make like a bigger taco or like a burrito if you want i guess and, and then, then we we have some grilled or roasted zucchini. Yes. Okay, so let's start making tacos. Okay, basically, we're gonna be talking about BLM, Black Lives Matter. If you guys don't support it, you guys could just kindly unsubscribe if you want. You could, kind, you could kindly um, click on the video because we're gonna be talking about that. If you don't support it, it's totally fine with us, but like you could kindly. Yeah, click and the video. please don't try to argue with us <laughs> in the comments because our. <laughs> our opinions will not change they yeah, do matter they do matter and like, like we, we support your opinions and you just know we don't ours. we don't support their opinions or i don't support their no opinions. like like i support them having their own opinions yeah different perspective that's what i mean okay 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 so let's just start talking okay. basically this all happened with like george floyd so basically he was like the last stick or like 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 people after him people were done like they were so done with having their the color of their skin be like a weapon be seen as a weapon yeah. and the fact that you could get killed just by the color of your skin is so sad really so sad and basically people just went crazy not really go crazy but like they once george floyd was murdered people couldn't take it anymore and they had they yeah. knew they had to make a, oh my god they had to make a move yeah. and had to stop this because okay. no justice no peace period yeah what do you think i'm gonna go get more like spoon oh. yeah so you can keep on talking about it an officer murdered him he, people were saying that he was like having a heart attack and yeah so basically an officer put his knee on his neck making him not being able to breathe and the three other officers were just standing there watching yeah they're like bystanders it's like they're getting bullied they didn't you know even I mean? stop they didn't even try stopping their colleague they just watched yeah and then he he i think he had a heart attack or like yeah a heart attack ability that's what that's what people say like from the news you know everywhere that he had a heart attack he had a heart attack and yeah after eight minutes of that you know and the, he was saying he can't breathe yeah he and can't the officer breathe. still still let him and the fact that our president literally he's so racist oh my god we want obama back I but want, too bad you can't because you I could want, only vote them twice i want bernie yeah i want bernie too sorry but i don't want what's it mike mike Joe, no He's, I thought he already dropped out. I yeah, I know, but I don't, Joe I don't, Biden. I don't want Joe Biden. I want, I want Bernie. Mm, I think mm, people are saying that um, Bernie, Bernie dropped out. Yeah, the people say he dropped out. Hopefully he didn't. And some people are saying he didn't. Yeah. If he did drop out, like the reason he would have dropped out is because he doesn't want Trump to win. Like it's anyone but Trump that has to win. Like he cannot win again. Yeah, because Obama won twice before, but that's only the one that eight years, I think, yeah. 
eight years. We voted twice. But that's it. Basically, that's why Obama. Uh, that's why Obama is not president. Anymore. Basically, what she's trying to say is, uh, there could only be, like, one person could only be president for eight years total. Yeah. Period. That's yeah. all. Uh, and Obama was already president for yeah, eight years. Yeah, she voted twice. Yeah. Like, if they don't like you. Like, for four years, I'm pretty sure Trump is not going to be the president this year. I'm just saying. Hopefully not. You know what I mean? And for the people who's watching, hopefully they're at home. Not somewhere else, because if you know what, the sickness yeah, around the world. Yeah, I stay safe yeah. and stay healthy. Yeah. Period. Always wash your hands, kids. Or people. Which we're kids, but like you know, I just like to call everyone. people yeah. Kids. I call them mm-hmm. like crazy. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. But let's stop talking about Black Lives Matters movement because we're gonna be talking about get to know us more, like some question deep questions. And hopefully for the BML and movement it'll be like it'll stop. Not like in the like bad matters, like stop like people will understand what Wait, that people are going through. People are saying that riots won't get anything done. But how about the Boston Tea Party? How about I forgot the other two. But yeah, literally, you won't get anything without rioting. Like they already without tried doing, protesters, you they know. They already tried peacefully protesting, but then yeah. they they hurt the protesters. They didn't do anything wrong, but they hurt. And you know what? Like this, there's. I saw this one video where it made me like emotional because this girl, this white girl, made used her privilege and was like going in front of a black guy and like shielding him. No, and she was using her privilege in like for good and was like saving him because he knows. Is that TikTok? I saw TikTok. Yeah, I saw that video. It melted my heart. Yeah, basically. Not all white people are bad, obviously. Okay, so let's start getting to the juicy questions. Yeah. And R.I.P. George Floyd, Brianna, yeah. Brianna Taylor, Ahmed, Aham, wait, Muhammad Aubrey. Wait, I also want to say the person Trayvon who Martin. the person who killed George Floyd got bailed out because of donations. No, it wasn't him. People. It was it was an officer. Just it was one of the officers. He got yeah. He was he bailed was, out. Yeah. From one million dollars. Yeah, from the people from donations. Like that's so disgusting. But let's stop talking about the bad inside. Yeah, RIP yeah. everyone who's Who? been killed because of their skin color. Yeah. Like this, this one girl. I forgot her name. But, but she just got killed. Yeah, she piece. got killed just for getting a parking ticket. Like she couldn't even get a normal parking ticket without getting hurt. Okay, let's talk about the juice questions. Cause stop talking about sad because you know. Not the whole entire world is about sad. It's also happy, so yeah. Even though that's kind of sad, but just always happy and sad. You gotta balance it out. But we're gonna talk about just the questions now. Okay. So the first question we're gonna answer is, what would your ideal life look like? Oh, period. Okay. You can that's go a good first. One. Me go first. I go yeah. first. Yeah, that's a really okay. good question. That is a really good question. Oh my god, be- um, definitely being successful and being able to provide to provide all of my future kids' needs and like give them like the best life I can while I'm still alive. Because you know okay. everyone dies. It's sad. But I just my ideal life would just like be successful and live your life to the fullest with no regrets and no without grudges too. Just live your life, sis. Period. Period. And just being able to travel around the world with my loved ones and like my friends and family. That's that's so. This is really good. The comments are really good. I didn't expect it to be this good, but you know. Okay, keep going. Basically, just being able to travel with anyone I want to, and like finding my soulmate, hopefully. But like, I would be fine being single. But like, I want to have a kid. Probably like a dog. Maybe because I do not want to give birth, honey. Yeah, basically. My ideal life is to be able to swallow first. <laughs> so gross. No thanks. My ideal life is to be able to provide um, needs for my loved ones 
Or if I were to have a child, my parents, um, provide them good health, um, provide them what they need, basically. That's my ideal life. And to be happy and to live to the fullest, hopefully. But yeah, that's that's about it. Sorry if we like kind of look over, like I, I'm just not up there, you know. It's because like it's the morning and we kind of like don't feel it, if you know what we mean. But yeah. So next question: What scares you the most about your future? That's a good one. Definitely not being successful, like being homeless. That scares me. I don't want to be homeless. Like I want to be successful, be able to have my own place. When I was younger, could I, could I talk? Yeah. Okay. When I was younger, at fourth grade, I would ask people, like I would ask my friends, my my classmates, if they were scared of dying. And back then, I used to be scared of dying, but now I'm ready. I don't even care if I die next day. I'm not saying, I'm not saying like I want to die or something, but I'm ready. If, if like God wants to take me, I'm, they could they could take me. But I used to be so scared of dying, and then but what I'm scared about in the future is. My loved ones dying. Like I'm not ready. I don't think I don't think I'm ever ready for someone to die close to me. Cause all the grief and then me crying, you know. I don't think I could get over it, but hopefully I will. If it happens, that never happened to me. Not, no one close. Yeah, we had family members that passed away, but the ones that are not close to me, like I barely knew them. I don't know like one thing about them, you know. But you know that I don't want that to happen. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm. Wait, how old are you? Me, definitely in college. I see myself in high school. So when I'm in twenty, when I'm twenty, I'm def. I definitely want to be in college. Hopefully, taking either chemistry, biology, or um, I forgot the other one. But darn it, chemistry, biology. Or, I forgot the other one, but it was, it's like something with science. As a major. I feel myself in high school. Hopefully I'm doing like, helping out the community. That's what I see myself. I see myself having a pet. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully I get a dog. What's the most difficult thing you've ever done? Hmm. I ever done was probably. I mean, that's a really good question. Like, I don't know. What's the most difficult thing I ever done? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm gonna eat mashed potatoes. Mine was definitely doing something. Like. With this this one test, I really couldn't think because I was the day before I came from basketball practice and I was just so tired I couldn't think and I was literally crying while taking the math test. Like I was hiding it, I was like wiping my tears. I would put my head down and I'd just be crying, and just wiping my tears, like because I couldn't think. Honestly, but I still got a good grade. I don't want to answer it. this. I don't want to answer this, but I'm gonna open up whatever. But it was probably me accepting that I don't know. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, this is, this is a video for y'all if you didn't notice. But yeah, that I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it, but this is that. But yeah. The next question is: Do you think your priorities have changed since you were younger? Hmm. Definitely. When I was younger, my priority has always hmm. Like been like have fun. It's my bed. But like that changed because it's my bed. I think it's over there. I see it's over there in the kitchen. Yeah. It changed. Because like right now, all I can think about is my future. Like how will this affect my future? And I didn't think about that in, when I was younger. I was just like living the present. But now I have to live like I live in the present but like I live in the present thinking about my future. Like, how can this affect my future? Basically, I just, I don't live my life to the fullest. Um, so I could have a good future. Like, I'm, like, I don't have fun. I don't go out with friends. I don't do anything fun. I just stay home, do my school stuff. And just not live my life up to its fullest. But 
I, it is what it is, I guess. I think my priorities changed when I was younger. Because when I was younger, I didn't really think of anything. I mean, I thought of my friends or whatever. I thought about all the, you know, WW dub of stuff that you do when you're younger. But now, I think of, like, other priorities, like, what's going to happen, you know, tomorrow. What's going to happen uh, in one week, you know what I mean? What's going to happen to, like, the people around me? You know, I didn't think of that. It's kind of stress-free. So we kind of forgot to make a thumbnail, so that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, joke to, to us taking a thumbnail. Please set, go. go. Look at the camera. Okay. Okay, ready? Go. Okay. I, oh, I was eating my hair. Okay. Okay. So we're done taking a thumbnail. Okay. okay let's what does success mean to you? Okay. Okay, what does success mean to you? Mine is definitely being able to, like, provide for your own self without other people's help. And, like, being able to pay back your parents for, like, raising you. And, like, paying, being able to pay back, like, everyone who's, like, made you who you are. Like, who's helped you become successful. Because you have to pay them back. You wouldn't be where you are without other people. Like, I'm not saying that you need other people to be successful, but then, like, if you did have people help you get to your success, you have to pay them back. Yeah. You just being able to be grateful and provide others with their needs without having a problem, basically. Like, financially and stuff. B basically, like, being financially stable. Yeah. And getting yourself anything you want, like, I feel like that's success. Like, being able to reward yourself for your hard work. Yeah. I agree on what you said. Success means to me, similar to my sister, it means to be able to provide, like, what people need. Similar to, you know, for the question earlier, um, probably that, to be able to provide. And, like, what success means to me if I, like, could get anything I want, like, basically. What she said and to have like to learn things that i didn't learn before you know help me grow to be successful hopefully when i grow up you know to learn things that's what it means to me i don't know if you guys get it but what i mean is like um the terms to build up success you know there's like different levels different steps to success hopefully i achieve every step of them to lead to success to the top. You know? But yeah, that's what success means to me. Do you know anyone who is living their life to the fullest? No one. I don't know anyone. Maybe yeah. some YouTubers, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, probably some I don't know. They might like, just be fake, no offense. So, Same, like personal. some people? Like personal. I think they're talking about personal. Oh, personal? Yeah. No. Not that no I know one. Of. Yeah, no kid friends. I know Mr. Beast is. Definitely. Mr. Beast, he's, yeah, for sure. He's like probably like sure. people in the I'm internet. Like, yeah, yeah. Mr. Beast, I don't, he, I don't think he's a lying YouTuber. I yeah. think he's real. Yeah. Who has been the most influential person in your life and why? Maris answered this first. What? Uh -uh. Okay, mine would definitely be someone successful, like very successful. Well, someone personally is my oldest brother because he like finished college and is like financially stable and like is able to like help his family but someone on the internet definitely um like mr beast because he gives back a lot to people around him uh, and he's just like so generous like i love that yeah the mine is david dobrik and mr beast i was subscribed to mr beast like before he was even famous famous like when i was like before like five mil like you know around that you know, I kind of know his journey a little bit. You know, I wasn't to like to the most like biggest round or like to the bottom bottom of like his career, but I know how his journey was kind of. Yeah, so when he was doing Twitch streams or whatever, donating. Oh, yeah, I remember that or... that one. Yeah, I watched that one. Yeah, me too. That's how I got to know him or how I saw him first. But yeah, that's that. And then he started getting famous and then leading to success and. When you have success, people are still gonna hate on you, you know? Haters gonna hate because you're jealous of their success. Because they're just, 
no, there. I know they're watching you. So if anyone's gonna hate on you, like anything like cyber bully or bully you or like, they're just hating on you because you're like more better than them. I'm just saying. I'm not saying in a mean way, but I'm saying that like they don't have much success than you do. That okay. you accomplish. Will there? But yeah. Will and then it? wait. Someone that I know is my brother, my older brother. So what brothers. are the top three things on your bucket list? I'm gonna definitely go out of the country, period. Like, since I got to America, we haven't went out yeah. of the country. Yeah. I wanna go somewhere I haven't been. We went to different states, though, like Nevada, um, Arizona. Arizona, yeah. yeah. Went to different states, though. But, I'm, we, we, but I wanna go outside of country, too. I wanna go, okay, one of the things on. My bucket list was one of was like go out of the country, like with one of my friends and my loved ones or something. No, like how about now? Like like right, oh, right now right for now? like summer bucket. The... Ooh, sorry. It's summer bucket. Definitely bucklers. be able to hang out with my friends. No, not with COVID around. Okay, I know, but that's. But like right now, I would want to hang out with my friends because I miss them. I haven't seen them since March, and I want to hang out with my middle school yeah, friends. Yeah, never hang I out. I haven't seen my middle school friends since graduation. Wait, but not all our, of them. our parents wouldn't let us. I'm, we never ask, but we think that. Yeah, we think that. I did. We, we get some asked. decisions. Yeah, but we never ask. No. Then also, we're, we're my third one. Power. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, the, my other bucket list is go, like this summer, I want to go, yeah. I want to go to Six Flags. Like six is for, it's like kind of close to us. Think, do you want your skincare? Your glow up? You oh yeah, glow up. Glow oh, yeah. up. It's, Every it's day she be talking about glow up. up. She go, she's trying to work out. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I work out every day now. Yeah, she tries to. It's she only been to... more than a week. Yeah, she, she worked like, out every day. Every day. Yeah. That's but you amazing. remember you took one break? I think you took one no, break. I didn't. You didn't? Oh, I went out for jobs. Like, I mean, I don't work out poo poo. I, I'm pushing myself to like get my dream body like for now. It's yeah. it won't be exactly we're not doing my it. dream body, but like, I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna, doing it for others. I'm not doing it for others. Yeah. I'm doing it for myself. I know that's what I'm trying to say. On period. I'm gonna work out soon. Like yeah, I don't I'm dress, saying that, I don't, but yeah. I don't. I'm not going up for others. I'm doing yeah. it for myself. Yes. Basically, I was like, if that. I had a glow up, I'd be more confident. Yeah. My sister, my sister's not going up for anyone. This is not going up for a boy or a girl period. or a friend. She's doing it for herself. That's she don't care period. about other people, poo poo. Period poo. Okay, basically, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I just want to go up over the summer, but like I don't want like an extreme extreme one, but I, I kind of want it. There are twenty six minutes already. Like we've been filming for twenty six minutes. Okay, so basically, we're gonna answer one more question. Oh, okay, come on, talking. Okay, basically, I don't want an extreme extreme glow up. I kind of do. Like I kind of want to glow up where. Like, you know, from Insatiable, Fatty Patty, yeah. she came back to school and everyone was like, who is that? Yeah. She's like, oh like, my god, that's want, Fatty Patty. I'm like, is that Angel? Like, I want to be a that girl. I want to answer three more questions. Three. It's a really juicy. How do you think you will die? What has you oh, I don't want to talk. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about that. If, this you could, one. if you could ask for a miracle, what would be it? What would you want, my friend? I don't know. I don't know about the miracle. That one's hard. I want to die in old age. The same. So we could talk about it. Oh, okay, so okay, so okay. I want to die. About, what has been the lowest point of your life? No, don't say that. Nah, I don't know it. We don't want to. We. I know. I know mine, but I ain't gonna say it. Okay, just how Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna open up to you guys yet. Maybe next time. I, if I could ask you for a miracle, what would it be? Yeah, if you could. That one's you, hard. Uh, last question we're gonna answer is if you could ask for a miracle, what would it be? If I were to ask for a miracle. It would not probably my, it would not probably for my selfish needs, you know. I, if I were to for my selfish needs, it would be hair, you know what I mean. This is the weave, this weave. I did grow my hair once, but then it, it like it lost, you know. It fell off again. Fell off again. Goodness so, pieces. Um, Sorry, God. But you know, it's not. I don't blame God or anyone. I blame myself, and I blame genetics. But yeah. And, but, like, a miracle, I would ask, is for my hair. If it was for my selfish needs, like I said. But if it wasn't, it would probably be climate change. Probably be that. For even me. though, even though God, or, like, if people who don't believe in God, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. But, like, you know, it would be Mine. that climate change. Mine would be make our family rich. 
it would not be selfish needs. It would be earned for me. Mine isn't selfish. It's like I know. I'm not. I know. I'm not saying. I'm not make saying our that. family rich. Yeah. That won't just like that. Also affect our future. Like, we'll be able to pay. We won't yeah. have debts and stuff. Yeah. You know. We. Sh- yeah. Basically. So that's the end of this mukbang. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to be a rat yet. Go ahead, Pooh. What Period. you waiting? Yeah, what, what are you, you waiting, waiting for? for? Go over here. You got three Go seconds. Over I don't know where you are. Three, two, two one. one. Well, no one even subscribed. Subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. Okay, Period. bye. Bye. No. Um, comment down what you think we should do next. Okay, bye.